Hey everybody, today I'm in this beautiful 2015 BMW X6. This is an SUV and we have already done a video on our channel about this vehicle, but to be completely honest, it's been in our like on our dealership lot for um, a few weeks now and I just don't know why. So I want to do another video because I love this vehicle and I want someone to love it too because it's so sad to see amazing vehicles just sit on the lot when they could be driven by one of you guys. So, I, I didn't do a test drive in the other one, so I want to give you a test drive and just point out uh, all the great features it has. I feel like BMW sedans get a lot more attention and are bought more quickly than the SUVs, but this SUV is freaking amazing. It drives silky smooth. It's, oh my goodness, I'm turning a corner now. Steering is so smooth, you're just gliding down the road. The suspension is super comfortable on it. Uh, you can run it in sport mode, so you get more of a stiff sport suspension, but right now, just in its normal mode right now, the comfort mode or whatever, uh, it's so, so nice. I, I really, really, really love every aspect of this. The steering wheel is really comfortable and of course it just steers, like I was saying, so smooth. It's one of those that you can just one hand steer the entire time. You don't, I mean, you should have two hands on the wheel, but you don't necessarily need to if you, if you get what I mean. But it's, the acceleration is silky smooth. There's not very much turbo lag, if at all, unless you really stomp on it. And even then, it's still super smooth. We have it parked on, as of right now, we have it parked on our little gravelly display area in our lot. And so when I was backing it out of that, it went all over those rocks so smooth. I honestly didn't even feel it. It just felt like I was um, backing off a smooth surface almost. Even like, cause it has a little bit of a curb on it too. And so even coming down off of that, super smooth. Again, that suspension is very nice. Let's push harder on the gas. Yeah, it's so, I'm gonna keep using the word smooth. It just glides. It's so nice. Again, that steering wheel is a perfect width. So it's really comfy. It has the cutouts in the right spots for your hands. It's all very, uh, very well placed together. Like the shifters are here in the middle and it's just at a nice resting spot if you do drive it with say your left hand and you have the right hand on the shifter or just resting. And then it's so smooth. We also have controls on our steering wheel so you don't have to look away from the road too much. And I mean, the, all the controls are right here as most cars in the middle and it's not too hard to navigate. But at least you have your phone cruise control, media options, you can have quick access controls. This car is also nice, you can run it in manual in a way, so we have paddle shifters on either side of these, uh, on the steering wheel here. So it's kind of fun if you want to get a little bit of taste of a manual, of course it doesn't have a clutch or anything, but some people really like to have that option. I don't know if you can hear the engine at all, but the, it had the eco start and stop so it, it wasn't necessarily the car still on but it wasn't necessarily running so you're not emitting uh, fumes into the air you're not draining your gas if you're sitting in stop go traffic which is a huge plus Salt Lake City has been getting a lot more busy so our traffic kind of sucks lately so it's nice to have eco start and stop as an option of course you can turn it off if you hate it um, Yeah, this is super nice. This is all-wheel drive, so we're coming into the winter season here. Icy conditions, super sketchy, uh, so it's so important to have all-wheel drive if you can. I love this car. I don't hear any weird noises too, so I feel like me saying that it's been on the lot for a while, some people's initial response is, well, what's wrong with it? And it's just not that popular is what's wrong with it. It's, again, BMW's I feel like more people want the sedans or the sport cars over the SUVs because they just probably haven't even been in an SUV before, a BMW SUV, but I love this one. 
so I don't hear any weird noises. I don't have the radio on. I don't have the fans on. So there's no white noise to cover up any noises. And if you're, and I'm not gonna edit the video weird so you can't hear anything. This is just how it is. And like, even when I had the air conditioning on before the video, the, the fans didn't sound weird. The AC didn't sound weird. The heaters didn't sound weird. It doesn't smell weird in here. Uh, I'm, I don't think it's been smoked in at all. I don't hear or I don't smell any residual of that. It's a very, very, very beautiful car. So I'm going to show you around the inside. If you already saw the other video, stick around because if you're at all interested in this vehicle, you're going to love all the different features that it has inside and you're going to love the exterior. I think it's a very, very elegant, sporty and well put together design. All right, so we'll start with our steering wheel. We have an all leather wrapped steering wheel. Then we have a plastic piece with our BMW logo in the middle. And we also have a plastic trim piece right here. Cruise control options on the left hand side, media phone options on the right hand side of the steering wheel. If we come into our dashboard, if we come into our dashboard here, we have our, our, um, if we come into our dashboard here, we have our gas gauge, we have our speedometer, and the cool thing about this is whatever speed you're on, see how the zero is really large compared to the other numbers? Whatever speed you hit in the actual numbers itself, it will become enlarged. So if I'm going like 43 miles an hour, the 40 will become more enlarged, so I know what speed I'm going. We have temperature and time down here and how many miles left until we need to fuel up, RPMs, all of that. I love our wood trim here. It has a nice, beautiful gloss over it. Then we have our silver trim, unlock lock button. We have Harman Kardon audio in this vehicle. This is a touch start vehicle. Again, this is a 2015. So we have the button here. This is what the key looks like. I love it. You can really feel the sturdiness. We have a beautiful screen here. I love how it's even lower than our main dashboard piece. So that's not in your way at all. Things on it so we have our main controls for that screen right here so you have media radio me menu telephone navigation options so i push navigation you can see how elegant and beautiful the design is and then you can navigate throughout you can push it up and down over and then we have a dial and then you can push in as well climate control options here we have heated seats in this vehicle and we have uh, ventilated seats as well, which is amazing. So great for our severe weather changes here in Utah. It's super hot and super cold. CD player, again, FM, AM, quick access. This is our volume button and on and off button for this main screen. Again, shifters are down here in the middle. So you have to push this button in with your foot on the brake, and then you can shift down, up, and then park is just a push of the button. And it will show you in a green light up symbol showing what driving mode you're in then you can see our manual slash sport and again those paddle shifters on either side of the steering wheel if you want to run it in kind of a manual sort of way then here's our sport comfort quick access buttons parking assist as well we have traction control and then we also have our our e-brake parking brake however you like to call it storage in here we have a ashtray I like to keep my phone and the key, especially again, it's touch start. So I like to keep it in the cup holders here. That's just my personal preference. We have storage in here. We also can charge your phone in there as well. I love our bolstered seats here wrapped in black leather. I love all the different um, black piping, the design, again, it's perforated leather for that heated and ventilated seating. Then we have our suede lining. It looks really, really good. We have a sunroof and you can control it with these buttons right here. Back seats look in pristine condition. We can hop out and see those in more detail. But you can see the angle of the roof coming down and more of that sloped, sporty design, and I love it. I love when you can take an SUV and make it more sporty and elegant, but it also still has really good visibility. You can see that small triangle of a window back there and then we have of course all these main ones let's hop on outside silver is our exterior color and may i say it looks absolutely gorgeous i love how this looks some silvers really don't suit a car but it does on this vehicle love our horizontal big prominent grille up front big logo piece right here the lenses are clear looks great 
don't see any missing pieces. You can see our cameras and our sensors, they're out for parking assist. Floodlights and more grill pieces. Honestly, there's hardly even any rock chips. There's maybe be a few here and there, but overall it's really, really great. I love our multi-spoke silver rim right here. It looks amazing. I don't see any curb rash. There's a little bit of a, a paint peel here, it looks like. Oh, maybe, oh, it's coming off. No, we're fine. So this will come off. Looks like just maybe some kind of paint got on it. Maybe like window paint, but it'll come off. We have our gas on the right side or passenger side. And if I hold down our key fob here for a few seconds, our electronic lift gate will lift up. And this can fold back, privacy shield. Super nice, we have extra mats in plastic form, some extra storage down there. And also this is a hydraulic lift. So in many of the cars, you have to like manually keep holding it, but it's super nice that it can hold at different levels. I can't bring it all the way up because of the mats, but love that a lot. Storage on either side. We can close it with this button right here. I really love the back end here. I love the spoilers on either side. Then we have our big pieces that all come together. I love the lenses as they wrap around the vehicle. Again, I just love that sloopy sporty design. It's almost similar to like our GLA, Mercedes-Benz GLA um, look, but of course it's bigger and it has the BMW flair to it. Great opportunity to come down, come test drive this for yourself. And I'm not just saying it because I'm trying to help the dealership. Well, I am. I'm trying to help the dealership sell cars, but it's not like I'm being biased or trying to sneak someone into it. I really do love this car. No one's asked me to do a second video. I'm doing it on my own because I really, really like this vehicle. And I also think that it's good because again, it's all wheel drive. We're coming to the snowy season here in Utah, or even if you want to ship this to another state, uh, it's really good just to have the option of an all wheel drive, whether you're going adventuring, different terrains, you're road tripping, it's so good to have that. We can also come back. So I was gonna show you the back seat. So let's show you the back seat. Back seat looks like it's hardly even been sat in, even if at all. The leather is in amazing condition. There's no tearing, no scratching. Even the carpet is not stained in any way. And we have, you know, cup holders, storage and such. This can lift up, but we're just kind of showing it off. So it's amazing. We also even have shades back here. So if you have a baby or a pet, this is also another great perk. It's also very roomy and large. So if you do have kids, big or small it's great so again come down to our dealership come test drive this it's a really amazing vehicle it can fit so many different types of lifestyles so come down and see this beautiful 2015 bmw x6